What's up guys? Welcome back to David's Feed. In this episode, we catch a ton of pit vipers in inner city Bangkok, including a really massive one. Some of you will remember our first video of 2020. That was a video shot in Bangkok where we went out in the middle of the city and caught a ton of vipers. Well, this video was actually shot on the same night. Dave and I went home, went back out between the hours of one and five to see how many pit vipers we could find. And the crazy thing about Bangkok is that there's snakes like literally just about anywhere on any roadside. Me and Rupert, we were just walking to 7-Eleven to get some snacks and we actually noticed a uh, white-lipped pit viper, Trimorosaurus albolabris, just sitting inside this little plastic over here. This is not staged, we found it like this. Literally, I just saw it like crawling inside here. We're gonna carefully take it out and put it up here into this shrub where it'll probably be a lot better off because he seems to be like trapped between this wall and the road, so there's probably a chance he's going to end up getting run over if we don't move him. Oh, he's coming out. This is, yes, this is a male. And you can tell that it's a male. If you look on their top lip, they've got that distinct white line, which is typical for males. Females will have like a fade from a light to a darker green. And if you look on the bottom of his chin, there's actually a large weaver ant. And what they'll do is they'll bite on and not let go. Sometimes even after the ant dies, the ant will remain stuck to their, to whatever they've bitten. And you can see there's a very large weaver ant just stuck on the bottom of the snake's jaw. I'm actually going to help him out and remove this ant because I bet that's really uncomfortable for him. We were just getting snacks, so I don't even have a hook with me. So I'm carefully going to try to restrain him. You could use a twig on the ground. Yeah, but I think this will work quite fine. There we go. As Good job, man. See, there's a ant. Let me zoom just, in on that. You can see these huge ants, they bite and don't let go. And this ant is actually dead. See, he's not moving any of his limbs and they're even like dried up and shriveled. So this might have been on here for like days even. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to be very careful to stay clear of those fangs. Look how tough these ants are. The body of the ant just fell off and the head is still stuck firmly to the snake's lower jaw. I'm trying very careful to stay clear of the fangs and remove the ant. Okay. I'm going to very carefully send him back on his way up in the shrub here where he'll hopefully be out of trouble well that was cool definitely unexpected very unexpected I'm going, to keep on going to 7-eleven now i guess after grabbing some food from 7-eleven we headed off 7-eleven bag in hand into random empty abandoned plots between houses where we knew we'd find snakes. And just to show how adaptable these green vipers here in Bangkok are, have a look around you. Like this is literally what the entire plot consists of. It's just literally a huge dump of all sorts of toilets, styrofoam, plastics, old furniture, all kinds of crap laying around here. You can just spot countless of these vipers sitting like there's one right over there. While you may think it's ugly and bad for the environment, the trash which is consistently dumped in these empty plots by humans actually creates a great refuge for many, many animals. Not just that, but it also attracts mice, insects, and in turn, frogs and geckos, which provide an endless stream of food for these vipers, making them incredibly abundant within this habitat. 
Alright, so to show just how common and how densely the populations of Trimurosaurus albolabris are in Bangkok, these are as found, just as we saw them. If you look down here, there's a little male sitting right there hunting for these small frogs in this marshy, soft, muddy area. And if you look over here, just a few steps away, you can already see the next one. These are very easy to find because they're... Oh, oh no. We can't walk on this. It's really muddy. I'm sinking. Come around my side. Wait, I just got thorns in me too. Watch out, this is spiky. You can see, there's another one right there. They're such a bright greenish yellow, they like really pop out at you when your light hits them from your flashlight. And then... And where's the coolest part? The coolest part is back there. There's actually two right next to each other. They might be potentially in the process about to mate. And I think- Wait, there's a third, a third one. I just, I see yeah. it. Just so there's one it. down there moving, one on the right. Oh look, and there's one right here too. Right in here. So how many is that in total? Seven. You see it, this one's really small. Yeah, take your torch away a little bit. Let's just scare this one away so we can walk past safely. That's seven in this tiny... Well, because it's the dry season, they've all congregated. Around this little, what used to be water hole. Oh, I'm too heavy for this. Now the seventh one is, they're all hiding now that we've the area a little. But yeah, you get the idea. They're all just insanely... Wait. <laughs> all right, they're starting to disappear now because we've kind of trampled around and made a noise but just you get the idea they're insanely common in these little small plots like literally within like a distance of like 20 meters we just found seven and look buildings all around yeah we're literally like inside bangkok just on an unbuilt property if you think these vipers only live in the empty plots you'd be mistaken in fact they show up in houses and gardens across bangkok very commonly which is when most bites occur David and I, whilst walking down the street, even spotted one just around the corner from someone's front door. A sharp reminder that you have to be aware when living in these areas. All right, so we've just found by far the largest green viper of the night of the about 17, how many did we find? Um, this will be our 19th. Yeah, this will be our 19th green tree viper today. Kill the torch. Definitely by far the largest one. This is a big female. Maybe gravid or just really well fed. Let's see how the temperament. She is. I'm not sure. She's very heavy and plump. Whoa, she is big. She is. These are the trash snakes of Bangkok. Yeah, and this is a very, very good size one. Fast too. Very thick. I mean, that's thicker than my thumb. It's like significantly bigger than the biggest one we've found till now. Oh, yeah. What is this, like 60 centimeters maybe? 50? Yeah, she's chunky. Which is about as big as they get in this part of Thailand. So this one would definitely be a few years old. And at this size, they probably would have moved on from eating primarily geckos and frogs to eating small mice and squirrels, stuff like that. Maybe small birds that they find. As juveniles, they feed primarily on small frogs and geckos. And then as they get bigger, they change over to a mainly rodent diet. I must apologize for the dog. We are, after all, in Bangkok. Filming in just the middle of like a ton of houses. She's coming down. Quite nicely, but I'm gonna be super careful because bite from a larger specimen. Despite common belief, a lot of people will tell you that the bites from smaller venomous snakes are more dangerous because they can't control the amount of venom that they inject, and that is false because even an uncontrolled amount from a small snake will not compare to the venom yield of a snake so much larger. So, as a general rule, the larger the snake, the higher the chance that you'll have a worse. Bye. All right. She's beautiful.
beautiful. As you can see, if you're just very gentle with them and handle them in a way that they don't feel threatened or scared by you, they will have no reason to bite because they're very peaceful creatures as long as you treat them in a way that doesn't frighten them. Absolutely, man. That's such a nice shot. Hold it up a bit. And cut. What's up, guys? I hope you enjoyed this slightly shorter video. Of course, we got new videos out every single week, despite lockdown. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a single video.